And we're going to use toilet paper. Changing through chords in the beginning is the worst, right? G, switch to a C. They say they're beginner, but it's nothing like beginner. It takes months to be able to do that. So let me show you a very cool trick using one chord shape. You can move it all across the fretboard to create all the other major chords, and it's amazing. And we're going to use toilet paper. Now, normally you will be using toilet paper to dry your tears because you can't change chords, but today we're going to be using it to change chords. And the way it works, we're going to get two sheets of toilet paper. Check this out. Really cool. I know you're thinking, what is this dude talking about? We're just going to fold it in half, fold it in half, fold it in half, fold it in half till you have this. Okay. And now you fold it in half again, but like this, now you have this. Now I'm going to tuck this under my string, starting on the sound hole. So I mute the three thickest strings. Okay. Just like that. Now you can see my third, second and first strings are not muted. So if I strum through that, only my three thinnest strings are picking up that sound. The rest are muted. So now if I play a D chord, a D chord shape, only those three notes are ringing out. Instead of thinking about a chord, the chord is three notes put together. Let's think of one of those notes, the D note over here, right in the middle of the chord, okay? Now, if we move that note one fret higher, what happens to that note? It becomes another note, right? We can all agree on that. It keeps changing and becoming other notes. In fact, it becomes all of the other notes. So what do you think happens if we get that note that's part of the D chord and we throw the D chord to it and we play it, what do you think if we move this note and all the other notes will happen to that chord? If one note becomes another note, one chord shape becomes another chord. Wow, so now with that D, we can play other chords. And how does this work? So let's follow the alphabet. The musical alphabet follows the same as the normal alphabet. So we've got A, B, C, D. We're on a D. Okay, A, B, C, D. What is the next letter, the next chord in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E. So two frets from there. It's going to be an E. Okay, so let's keep moving. A, B, C, D, E, F. Huh. Let's keep moving. G. Now we've ended the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we got to start again. A, B, C. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C again. All right. So where do we find those chords? All chords, all names of chords are separated by two frets. So from D to E, realize I'm moving two frets. D, one fret, two frets. E. And the only exception is from E to F and from B to C. That's the only exception. So A, B, C, D, two frets E, one fret F. Two frets G. Start again. A. Two frets B. One fret C. Now this C over here, the cool thing is that if you realize I'm playing 12 and 13 fret. Well, everything that happens on the zero fret is the same as the 12, only an octave higher in pitch. So if I play this and this is a C, I could also move it down here. And that would be a C2. So now I can play all my major chords with one shape. Huh. So let's look for a song that only uses major chords. The Joker, for example. The Joker uses G, D, C, D again. So let's look for that G. So D, E, F, 
G. Awesome. So we're going to start on that chord. Now we got to move to a C. We knew the C was here, but we also know it's here. With two of those strings being open, it's the same shape, only now two of my fingers are behind the neck. Okay, so we've got... And then the next chord is C, is D, sorry, to a C. chords. Now you can take it even further and if you're not comfortable playing with three fingers, you can use two fingers. <laughs> so if you realize on a D shape, there's two fingers fretting the same fret, the second fret. So we've got our index on the third string and our middle on the first string fretting that second fret. So we can just avoid the middle and fret all of the those two notes with one finger, just like that. But now we need the, the third note of the D chord, which is on the third fret. So we're gonna, I'm going to use, you can use whatever finger you want, but I'm going to use my middle finger. So now I've got that same D chord. Check it out. So see how it sounds the same? It's the same notes, fret it. So now I can easily glide that. I think it's easier like this. It's tips like these that I share inside of the Beginner Guitarist Playbook that you can download for free. The link is going to be down in the description. There's 30 pages of videos and diagrams that I think you're really going to enjoy.